everyone in this video i'm going to show you how to change your php settings in ionos if you have web hosting through them you may have gotten an email uh with a um, an upgrade in the charges now let me just show you this i've been paying 12 dollars a month for basic hosting i really don't use my websites that much but i like having it up up there it's a hobby for me and um, a few years back, it started at like seven, eight dollars a month. Now it's twelve. All right, inflation. But then I noticed a uh, what you see here is a PHP 8.0 extended support, 871 a month. So instead of twelve dollars a month, I'm now paying about twenty-one dollars a month and change. It's about seventy-five percent more. So holy chamoli on that. So you may be in the same situation, what's in, like what the heck is that, do I need PHP, what's going on? So here's the thing, um, every few years they update this PHP, and, and let me just show you what that means anyway, it's part of a certain web hosting, it means hypertext preprocessor, okay, and it goes hand in hand with uh, HTML, but uh, I'm not super technically savvy with web hosting, so we're going to stick to the basics here. Um, so every few years, there's a new version that comes out now with certain web host providers like Ionos. They won't automatically upgrade you. Um, you'll have to do it yourself. But if you don't do it and you're holding on to old legacy um, PHP platforms, then they will say you need support because it's no longer supported by the community. So now they're go going to kick in and save you, but it's going to cost you. So you don't really need the older version. Some people may want to hang on to an older version because they're afraid of website stability, you know, possibly screwing up your website and such. For me, it doesn't matter that much. But there's usually a few versions that are supported by the community that you can check so i'm going to go through the procedure right here just in case any of you out there have an ionis account and uh we're going to log in and uh in your control panel and we're going to click on hosting all right and once this opens up down here we're going to do uh php manage Okay, and then here are all my hobby websites. And what I did is I, I updated to the, uh, the PHP 8.2, but before I went to the next step, I wanted to document this. So um, what we're gonna do is click anywhere here. You can click on a website or the PHP and it will bring you to a choice for that particular domain now you can click a whole bunch of domains at the same time and do everything at the same time which is what i did now let me show you what i had down here i, I had older versions like 7.4 i think 7.3 and uh that's where they'll kick in and say oh you're gonna need support for us but here are the newer versions you got 8.1 8.2 and 8.3 and they actually show you the one they recommend but they're not going to do it for you Unless you're actually paying for the extra services through Ionos, I imagine they will do all this stuff automatically for you. But if you don't, you have core basics like me. Um, what happens is when they expire, and when I say expire, it means community will no longer support it. And I guess it's managed by a community out there that keeps an eye on this particular um, PHP thing. So you see 8.1 expires at the end of this year, 1224. Uh, 8.2 goes to 2025. And the newest one, I guess it hasn't been used that much. It, uh, the support goes to 2026. So all, all you have to do basically is choose any of these. So I, um, I picked the one that's recommended, 8.2. I figured it's been out there for quite a while. And I did it with all my websites. All right. And after you do that, um, you click save and then um, I think as long as all your websites are updated um, you now have the option to cancel extended support and um, see you'll get this here so uh, let's see extended so now I'm not too sure if this is covering all my websites or just the one vegan tiger 
So uh, let me see what it pulls up. So what I'm going to do just in case is go back to all my domains, select them all, okay? And then click change PHP version. I'm gonna click 8.2, now I did this already, so I'm gonna do it over again. Hopefully it doesn't mess up my websites. Okay, um, it's gonna ask you if all your websites work good and uh, then gives you the, uh, the option to cancel, which is what I'm going to do. And it's canceling 8.0 extended support because it did expire, even though it's an 8 version. So let's do that. And it's going to give you the super duper warning. I'm going to do this, right? Cancel additional items now. They give you a chance to change your mind right here. I click that box. And then we're going to do that. And then after this, I'm going to contact support via chat or something like that, ask them to refund the charge that they did for what I showed you and make sure I will not get any more additional charges in the future. Now keep in mind, once any of these versions that you did choose expire, you're gonna go through the same thing over and over again. So maybe you should write something down on your calendar to remind you to change this, maybe a month or so before your version expires so you don't get billed for it. So there you go. I hope this helped you out. Leave any comments below. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe. I got some other cool how-to stuff on this channel. Thanks for watching.